Tonight, people in the Star City are coming together in an effort to create a safer Roanoke. Police officers, politicians, and the public are taking part in a Stop the Violence event tonight. All of this in response to a recent increase in violent acts despite a reduction in overall crime in the city. WSLS 10's Bree Jackson is live at Paradise Cathedral in Roanoke. So, Bree, what crimes are going up and what's the community doing about it? Well, Lindsay, I checked the crime stats and found that in 2014, Roanoke actually saw crime numbers drop and saw their homicide numbers drop to three reported that, that year. But last year, we saw an increase in nearly that, that number nearly tripled. And then so far this year, we've already seen five homicides. People I spoke with today say it's going to take a joint effort between police, community leaders, groups like Black Lives Matter, and others to reduce crime and build trust. Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter. Calls for justice echoed in downtown Roanoke Monday. It's everyone's responsibility to speak up for justice. It's not one group, it's not another group, it's everyone. Deborah Carter started Roanoke's Black Lives Matter group. She says this movement is one way to raise awareness about inequalities. It's time to get uncomfortable. Racial bias is real. Members of the Latino community came to show support and share concerns. We have a amazing police officers serving our country, but we also know that we have some of them who have been intimidating yes, and uh, abusing their authority. Issues Roanoke's new police chief plans to address. Chief Tim Jones says officers and local groups must work together to break down stereotypes, build trust, and solve problems such as police misconduct and gun violence. Black Lives Matter organization really uh, starts the dialogue, and in, in many ways, uh, you know, it is the catalyst for the continuing conversations that we have to have. Uh, so we don't look at that in, 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 as a, in a defensive type of philosophy. We thank you for the change that will take place in the lives of our communities. By bringing people from all races, professions, and political affiliations together, people here hope to prevent violence in Roanoke. And those discussions will continue tonight. That event, that Stop the Violence event, takes place here at 7 p.m. at Paradise Cathedral. Um, Sherman Lee, the mayor here, as well as the police chief, are expected to attend. And this event is open to the public, and they're encouraged to come. In Roanoke, Bree Jackson, WSLS 10.